The assets have accepted to work for the adversaries, but will they really do it? Some, stress tests, are necessary at this stage. The assets must be put in a stress situation. They must first accomplish something easy. They must feel confident that they can do what is required by the handlers, without any consequences. They must cooperate with the handlers once. After that, the handlers have evidence that the assets have committed an illegal act, and it can be used if and when the assets refuse to cooperate further. Adversaries first persuade assets to agree to a small request. This increases their likelihood of persuading the asset to comply with a larger request later. The option for employees to click on an email link and download an attachment or visit a website with malicious software from the corporate environment as an initial commitment is looking simple and easy. Complying with a small request is the first of many steps toward committing an act an individual never thought he or she would engage in. Hackers and terrorists apply the same techniques of escalating commitments in their recruiting objectives. Being in a crowd can lead people to behave not only offensively, but violently. Feeling anonymous online can have the same results. Employees feel anonymous online, and they are further persuaded by adversaries that it is impossible to be accused for just clicking on a link. When identity is made salient under conditions of anonymity, behavior becomes impulsive, and the fear of potential consequences is less strong. Which are the two most important excuses for persons recruited by adversaries? A. Negligence. An insider exposes an organization to a threat through carelessness. Misplacing or losing a portable device containing sensitive information could be the result of negligence. Ignoring messages to install new updates and security patches can also be called negligence. B. Mistake. An insider can mistakenly cause an unintended risk to an organization. An insider can click on a hyperlink, open an attachment, or improperly lose a sensitive document. It is difficult to distinguish between an intentional action taken to harm an organization for personal benefit and a mistake. Sabotage is another option. It includes deliberate actions to harm an organization's physical or virtual infrastructure. Sabotage includes non-compliance with maintenance procedures or security policies that leads to physical damage or loss or confidential information. Adversaries will continue to use the carrot and stick approach to induce the desired behavior. The carrot refers to promised rewards, the stick refers to promised punishments. Firms and organizations must train employees to understand the risk, be able to see the red flags, and report suspicious incidents. Confidential means of reporting are required. Pre-employment screening and a sophisticated asset control system reduce the opportunity for both insiders and outsiders to harm an organization. Proper monitoring is very important too. To find more information, https colon slash slash www.cyberriskgmbh.com slash training.html